Welcome to Learning in Limestone. Our goal, success for all. Fostering communication and interaction between generations is our focus today as we visit with the Grand Friends Project on Learning in Limestone. Building community between the students and the residents here at Fairmont Home is the purpose behind the Grand Friends Project. How exactly are you achieving this? Well, our first visit was a get-to-know-you situation where we played games. And the next three visits, I paired the students with the seniors, and they interviewed them about their lives, past and present. And today, 4Cats is facilitating um, an art project that's going to be hanging on the wall here at Fairmount and hopefully that's going to be something that the residents can remember us by. Our next five visits after that are going to be centered around music and we're going to be learning five or six different songs, mostly from the seniors past and a few in current songs uh, in hopes that at the end of June we can perform for our family and community. What are the intended outcomes and benefits of such a program? It's really important to me that um, my students and seniors have uh, a chance to foster communication and interaction between generations. My hopes for my students are that they start to build a sense of empathy and compassion for the older generation as well as others. And my hopes for the seniors are that they hopefully build friendships with my students and hopefully that will help them to feel a little less isolated. Why is it important to you as a teacher to organize this program? It's important for me to teach my students that there's so much more that's come before them and that the older generations have helped them to become the people who they are today and the yes. people who they're going to be. How does this experience support the learning pillars of wellness and achievement? When we treat others with kindness and we help one another and we get to learn and understand about each other, we in turn feel good about ourselves and I think listening and learning about an older generation's dreams and achievements will hopefully help my students to be confident in going after what they believe in. What changes have you seen in your students? Well, I've seen tremendous changes in my students since beginning this program, especially in the students who were a part of the program last year. The way that they treat each other and their considerate nature are so noticeable. What has been the most rewarding for you? Seeing the connections that are being made and knowing that I'm making a difference in the lives of the residents here. Um, we look forward to our visits just as much as they do. You have been working on various activities over the last several months and today you are creating a mural that will stay here at Fairmont. Can you tell me about the story or the images that you are creating? Well, it's going to be a butterfly and it's going to have all sorts of colors and it's, we're going to do it all together. It's going to be really fun and you get to do it together. Why is this important to you? It's important to me because we get to bring new generations together. What kind of activities have you been doing? Uh, well, we've been doing a lot of activities like coloring, painting, and doing all sorts of stuff, interviewing. Yes, he was interviewing. He asked me all sorts of questions. Sort of surprised me for a fellow that young, but then I answered his questions because he needed to know whatever project he has going here. What have you liked best so far? Well, I've liked, what I've liked best so far is coming here to meet Norma. And we get to do this to show everyone that we can learn a lot from our elders. This is very true. That makes me feel better. <laughs> I think we are all learning to express our opinions a bit better than we have. So that is a good thing. Why else is this important? Well, it's actually really important because we're showing people that we can make a difference from just sitting at home with our family and we can go explore and learn new stuff. That's right. New stuff can be exciting even though we don't know what it's all about at the time. But we have time to think about that painting now. 
and figure out what what it all means. And so many people were involved. I like that. It wasn't just one or two people, but the whole crowd seemed to be involved doing one thing or another. What does your relationship with Jacob mean to you? Well, it means that I've got a little brother, somebody that I have never met before, and I think he's very interesting, and he is very concerned about what's going on around him, which makes him a very interesting citizen. And what about for you? What does this relationship mean to you? Well, it means I have someone to look up to, someone to believe in, someone that inspires me. Bless you. The Grand Friends Project is fostering relationships and understanding between generations while developing empathy, respect, and collaboration among students, truly bringing learning alive. Learning in Limestone is brought to you by the Limestone District School Board.